My oldest son really loves water, so we, going to water parks is like the funnest thing we can do. So Wet World in Shah Alam, and it was almost empty. It was on a weekday, and it was amazing. I want to take my wife to Italy, I think, because of course the food is going to be good. Um, you know, if I had enough, enough, enough money, I would love to take her to Italy, take her shopping, eat at restaurants, and just a nice vacation for us, because uh, you know, she's a very hardworking mother and she needs a break, so yeah. Uh, this is a good one. I guess I would choose Eastern cuisine. I mean, there's so much variety. It's, um, there's cuisines where, you know, the, it's not based on the produce, it's about the spices, stir fry and then there's Japanese cuisine and that's that's in there as well which is it's completely different as well so there's just so much variety in, in Asia so definitely I think London would be the uh, favorite place for us because Michelle loves shopping she <laughs> loves adventuring to all these uh, food dimensions solo I, I hate to travel long distance so Hong Kong is my favorite Chinese food is always my forte yeah, my favorite uh, dishes. A joint holiday with you, Fred, would be a beach resort or the hills. That's where we rest and relax. But if I'm traveling solo, I'll be going to countries where all the clubs are. Because you don't like a party. I like a, I, I'm still the party sort. Not there yet. For the first 10 years, or 10 years ago, for 10 long years, um, Happy Hours has been in all our outlets and we actually go outlet to outlet and every outlet I'll have like two drinks. So by the time I get home, there'll be like about six to eight drinks. And, and um, we've slowed down a little bit on that. Okay, we've, um, we are allowing the younger, the younger ones to, to take over the visiting of the outlets. For me, most of the evening I spend uh, my last inspections of those uh, problem area of the outlet. Now that we've got 10 outlets, so sometimes we stretch up to quite late in the evening. Otherwise, we'll have an early night and uh, early rise to my Iran plantation. It's about family, it's about the kind of values and, and I suppose that what you learn from an older generation is in a meal preparation, there's a different set of work principle. Like you don't take a shortcut just because it's a shortcut, you take the long way because each step has a significance. Probably one of those things that I learned most when um, eating eating when I, cook, when, I, when, I, when I was growing up. I don't really have a favourite, there's some things I like to eat, like I like to eat chicken rice but it's not a favourite. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, not favorite city. Well, yeah, maybe favorite city uh, could be San Sebastian. It's a beautiful place. Wonderful food. Um, great people. Fantastic weather. You know. Yeah. Very nice. The inspiration wasn't so much a okay. country as an attitude to life. Yes. Because the tagline is "Eat Chino, Live Latino." Yeah, it's more like "Live Latino." Party, you know, not having Dancing, a, a good time music, with yeah. your friends, yeah. and, and we found that the the Latin idea and the Asian idea is actually quite close, because you know we all have dishes in the middle that everyone shares, and then it's all about. Except that the Asians tend to eat, get up, and leave, whereas the Latinos will stay up and party. And also, you know, it does rhyme with chino. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my favorite dish from Eddie's hometown is actually because you know they make the best rice noodle. So just a simple live fun around rice noodle with dry curry. Oh my god, so good. Breakfast. And for me, from Chris's hometown, Latsaba, my favorite thing is a pate or risli, which is like a little pastry, which is but actually it's not a little bread. pastry, it's quite big. It's it's yeah. a it's a pork pate encased in pastry and you know in between the pate and the pastry there is an aspic with riesling. It's like a jelly thing. Jelly. Oh my god, it's so good. It's great for breakfast every day. <laughs> best one. Not sure about the best one, but which one? Wang Awa. Wang Awa. <laughs> you know it's amazing because I can call Wang Awa at 3 o'clock in the morning and they will deliver to my house. <laughs> so that must be the best summer food.